हेलो गुड आफ्टरनून वेलकम टू डॉट प्रोग्रामिंग डॉट ब्लॉग स्पॉट डॉट कॉम टूडे आई विल शो यू हाउ टू एड डायनेमिकली रॉज इन ग्रिड व्यू सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल क्रिएट डिजाइन ए ग्रिड व्यू कंट्रोल इन विच वी हैव ए ऑटो जनरेटेड कॉलम्स इट्स फॉल्स सेट सम कॉलम्स ए एस पी बाउंड फील्ड डाटा फील्ड is related to your database and your data tables so uh, in this tutorial i will take a data table so header text is serial number and data field is matched with your data table okay now the next field is template field the header text is name in which you can take item template and in the item template you take tax box control id is refer to the name text and run at server text is actually bind with the evil uh, evaluation method using embedded code block so also on that name is uh, refer to the data table uh, column name dollar sign hash evil the name now copy this template field with and paste it another here and change the name uh, or you can say replace the name with the phone number actually uh, this things is used for when you want to add rows dynamically i mean to say that uh, in the word excel and the office tool you can add rows dynamically in the table so uh, similar things i will design here oops i'm getting error yeah causes happen here double quotation is replaced with the single quotation okay now come to the design part yeah so serial number is 1 to automatically incremented by 1 and the name and the in the phone number you can take and the values because uh, in it here we have a text box control okay so show footer is true design a footer template footer template just uh, in the second uh, column asp button i want to add uh, rows uh, so here we have a button control so button id equals to new add new button and text is add new row on click i want to add a row when we click on the button so in the footer template add a button control run at server now in the uh, page load method i want to add a new row okay and or you can say the save the value in the view state of the rows so not equals to page dot pass back then 
save your text box value in the view state so bind grid view this uh, first of all bind that grid view with the data table okay bind grid view with single row data table uh, actually data table is exist in system dot data namespace dt equals to new data table set columns in the data table so dt dot columns or set the data row first of all null data row dr equals to null dt dot columns dot add new data column first of all uh, give the name is serial number s number that is the data field here serial number okay so and the type of the serial number is integer type so type of integer or you can take the string value also now copy that column for the name and the phone number name and phone number so in the section of name and the last section is phone number and amongst are related to the string type for the rows now uh, in the first row I mean to say uh, your first row initialize with the serial number is 1 name with string dot empty I mean to say text box is empty and uh, phone number is also string dot empty now uh, save that state in the view state so view state uh, data table equals to dt now hold the table is uh, installed in the view state data table object and dt dot rows dot add what dr ok now bind that grid view with the data table grid view 1 dot data source is dt and bind the grid view ok now run that uh, page in a browser your uh, page is successfully run or not uh, it's taking time to load your page in a browser so please keep patience and uh, welcome to the second video tutorial ops the object reference not set to instance of object please come to the next video tutorial because raw is not added actually so please come to the next tutorial and uh, uh, solve it here in the next uh, tutorial so thank you thank you very much and add second to uh, add that row in the second tutorial so please visit my second tutorial